everyone. Welcome to the CTV News on Calabash TV and on the Wave Radio 94.5. I am Lisa Joseph. The group of concerned CSA members under the banner Save Our Union Team Stout is planning on writing to the Registrar of Trade Unions for a third time, seeking his intervention. The group wants action taken against the executive of the CSA following a general council meeting which was held Wednesday. Save Our Union team says the meeting was unconstitutional as it did not constitute the requisite quorum of duly elected members to ratify the decisions taken by the general council nor the persons appointed to fill vacant posts on the national executive. But the chairman of branch number nine of the CSA is concerned that another letter to the registrar of the trade unions would not yield any results, given that Andrew Kwashi has failed to act on the two previous letters. Uh, the registrar of trade unions refuse or has not, up to this time, respond to our letter based on on, on the two occasions where we had a where we petitioned, where members petitioned legitimately for a meeting and that meeting has not been called. So I am, maybe I can use this, this avenue that I followed to me now, I'm thankful for, to appeal to the Ministry of Labor and the Registered Trade Union and generally the good thinking people of Central Asia to that violation of such a nature cannot go on. But I know our situation there must rest in the hands of the Labour Ministry and particularly the Register of Trade Union because clearly, <laughs> clearly, Lisa, every single violation as to the, the Labour Code and the Register of Trade Union, how they're supposed to operate, is blatantly violated. Oliver Lawrence says the CSA executive was deliberate in its actions by omitting certain general council members from that meeting. I have to say that it was a deliberate attempt to keep all of us out, or to keep the members of the of the Save Our Union team out, because they wanted to use the remaining three members of the executive to ratify or whatever they wanted them to do at that meeting. So hence the reason I think they deliberately did not invite it, which is a total violation of the CSA constitution and, and, and parts, uh, I can't remember the section now, I think, I think if my memory is uh, maybe section three, four, seven or eight of the Central Labor Code, um, where m members that now make up the executive cannot operate as is.